Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video regarding why I refuse to date bisexual men. So before I really get into today's video, I wanted to place a disclaimer right here before we get any further that this is not an attack on gay men or bisexual men, particularly gay black men or gay bisexual men. This is just us having an open, honest conversation about sexual health and sexual responsibility. So with that being said, if you really truly believe in 2020 that HIV is a gay man's disease, then I'm assuming that you haven't really properly educated yourself on sexual health. HIV is not a gay man's disease. Anyone can get HIV, male or female, homosexual or heterosexual or bisexual. Anyone can get HIV or AIDS. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. And I wanted to start with this article. It says, why do gay men have an increased risk of HIV? So it says in the United States, gay men are at a disproportionately high risk of getting HIV and AIDS. In 2015, 68% of all US HIV infections affected men who have sex with men. The risk is even higher for gay black men. Why are gay gay men more likely to get HIV. There are several reasons why gay and bisexual men are at a higher risk for HIV than their straight counterparts. Some of the reasons are biological. Certain types of sex are more likely to transmit HIV than others. Other reasons reflect social realities about how men who have sex with men live in a world and are treated by society. Furthermore, not all gay men enjoy anal sex. However, anal sex is one of the main reasons that gay men have higher rates of HIV. Scientists have estimated that the average HIV transmission rate during anal sex is 18 times higher than the rate during vaginal intercourse. The risk of acquiring HIV during an act of unprotected anal intercourse is estimated to be 1.4%. Some heterosexual men and women also enjoy anal sex. However, there's another biological factor that makes anal sex riskier for gay men. They are much more likely to engage in both topping and bottoming or penetrating and receiving. This is known as role variability and it has been shown to increase HIV transmission risk. Why? Men who practice receptive, unprotected, anal intercourse are at higher risk of contracting HIV. Men who practice insertive unprotected anal intercourse are more likely to transmit HIV to their partners. When men do both, the combination of behaviors optimizes the spread of HIV in a way not seen in heterosexual couples. In heterosexual couples, men are far more likely to penetrate and women to be penetrated. Because of this, HIV is far more likely to spread from the male partner to the female partner than vice versa. I am biphobic because my health matters. Last week I was tested because I'm trying to practice good sexual health practices like getting tested routinely. I was tested for HIV and AIDS. I was also tested for STDs and everything came back negative. So if you are sexually active, I really do advise that you get checked routinely. You need to make it part of your routine monthly 
quarterly, whatever. You need to make sure that you're practicing good sexual health practices. You need to make sure that you are protecting yourself because you only have one life, you only have one body, and you wanna make sure that you are protecting yourself. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some examples of why I have this stance, why I have this perspective. This has nothing to do with masculinity. This has nothing to do with societal standards. This has everything to do with what I choose to tolerate, what I choose to deal with. This is all about my life, my lifestyle, and this is how I choose to live my life. I need to get this message out to women because particularly black women, because we lead in HIV and AIDS. And this is something that I talked about in a previous video. We are sitting at about anywhere between 59 to 62% of African-American women have HIV and AIDS. So why is it that white women are sitting at about like maybe 20% and then I believe if you are racially ambiguous or Hispanic, you fall somewhere in between, but 20% is where white women sit at. But when it comes to African-American, we are at the top. And why is that? That is a conversation that I want to have. So first off, I want to get into my examples. So recently King of Reads went viral on YouTube and semi Twitter because he recently came out saying that he doesn't feel that he needs to disclose the fact that as a gay black man, he is HIV positive. Now, whether he's dating you, whether he's friends with you, whether it's just a casual type of interaction, he does not feel under any circumstances that he has to disclose that information to anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a video of him basically explaining his stance based off of his lifestyle and how he chooses to live his life, which I am not here to judge because at the end of the day, he has a choice to live his life how he chooses. Do I agree? necessarily hell no I don't agree but he still has a right to choose how he wants to live his life just like I get to choose how I want to live mine which I'll get into why I choose to live my life not dating bisexual men but first let's go ahead and tune in to what King of Reeds had to say regarding that as a gay black man he doesn't feel he needs to disclose being HIV positive let's go ahead and take a look people don't understand and don't get it um, so the post that I just posted a screenshot of someone you know, saying that it is my obligation, it is my duty as an HIV positive man to disclose my HIV status. It is not my job to disclose my HIV status to anybody, even sexual partners. It is both people job to talk about their sexual health. Okay, you cannot put it on the person who is living with HIV to be the one to say, well, girl, I'm living with HIV, da, 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 I'm on my stuff. And then you don't tell me anything and come to find out you ain't been. So you cannot put the entire sexual health responsibility on one person. You cannot make me be responsible for your sexual health. And I can't make you be responsible for my sexual health. Okay. If we both come into a consensual relationship and we both don't discuss our sexual health, then that's on us. But you're not going to make me take responsibility because I'm the person that is HIV positive and living with HIV. I have to take responsibility for everything. And not to mention, you might have some stuff going on and you have not been tested and you don't know because you're not getting tested regularly. You don't know what's going on with your body. So here we are, me, a heterosexual African-American woman, me dealing with the fact that 59 to 62% of African-American women are HIV positive, and this is a gay black man who feels that he does not need to disclose with anyone, whether he's sexual with them or not, that he is HIV positive. That is a choice that he's deciding to make. You don't have to agree with it, but at the end of the day, you can't force people to do what you want them to do or what you feel they should do. And moving on to the YouTube video that I recently watched, and I watched it for educational purposes because like I said, when it comes to this topic, when it comes to bisexual men, I want to understand them because it helps me. Understanding their plight, what they go through, their experiences, it educates me. So with that being said, I watched the YouTube channel for Harriet 
and this is regarding J.R. Yusuf. He is a bisexual black man who is also a speaker and an advocate for bisexual men. And he also disclosed as a bisexual man that he doesn't feel the need to disclose his sexual history with anyone. How do you feel about Carlton choosing not to disclose his sexuality to Diamond before proposing? Personally, um, so like you said in the beginning of the episode, I cannot speak for all bisexual men. I am only speaking for myself right. and I have been told that I have like relatively radical views on this. Um, but I do not believe that bisexual people owe anybody disclosure of our sexuality. This includes um, partners or medical providers or therapists, etc. I do not believe we owe it to anybody else. I believe if we choose to disclose and then we choose to disclose. As a heterosexual woman, a black woman, we lead in 62% of being HIV positive. Do you really think it's a great idea for me as a heterosexual woman who doesn't have any STDs due to my recent testing, not HIV positive, do you feel it's a great idea for me to date a bisexual man? Is it really in my best interest? This is a question that I'm asking you guys. I know how I choose to live my life, but I really don't think women are really thinking about what they're subjecting themselves to. And in my opinion, it's very dangerous. These are two types of different men. You have a gay black man and you have a bisexual black man. Neither of these men feel the need to disclose their sexual history to you. So if a bisexual man messes around with a gay man like the King of Reeds, who happens to be HIV positive, right? Then this bisexual man decides to mess with me. That puts me at a very high risk of contracting HIV and AIDS. Now, another thing that I wanna point out, this is another conclusion when it comes to my perspective as well. What's the difference between dating a bisexual man and dating a man who is on the down low? Now, if you're new here on YouTube, there are tons of down low videos of women, particularly black women, that are married or that were dating who happen to encounter a down low man. Now, with that being said, what is the difference between dating a man who is bisexual and dating a man who down low. Then let me take it a step further. What is the difference between dating a man who is bisexual but refuses to disclose his sexual history versus dating a down low man who refuses to disclose his sexual history? So if you have two men, one who's bisexual is open about his sexuality versus the down low man, he's not open about his sexuality, but they both refuse to disclose their sexual history. Where does that put me as a heterosexual woman? These are questions that I ask myself. Men who sleep with other men are at higher risk for contracting HIV and AIDS. That is a fact. And then when it comes to women, particularly black women, we are sitting at 59 to 62% who are living with HIV. So in my opinion, I don't see the difference in a down low man and a bisexual man, especially a, a bisexual man who doesn't feel disclosing his sexual history. I don't see the difference. What's the difference? And a lot of these black women on YouTube who do their story times about being married to a down low man, some of them, majority of them are HIV positive. So what is the difference? What is the difference? What is the difference between dating a bisexual man who doesn't feel the need to share his sexual history versus dating a down low man who also refuses to disclose his sexual history? I mean, the only difference between a bisexual man and a down low man is one is open about their sexuality, they're comfortable with their sexuality, and the other is not. So this is something that I would love for you guys to think about. I would love for you guys to give your thoughts and opinions on this because I hate it when people try to make it seem like my views are just discriminative. I shouldn't feel this way. There's something wrong with me. And I'm just like, am I the only one that's self-educating myself on sexual health? Are there other women out here who are educating themselves on their sexual health or sexual health period? That is the number one thing that's left out of this topic of conversation when it comes to bisexual men and heterosexual women, particularly black women. No one is talking about the health scare that comes with dating a man who is bisexual as a heterosexual 
woman, especially if you are black. So this is something that I would love your thoughts and opinions on, so please comment them down below respectfully. And like I said, if I have to make a stance and come out with a shirt that says biphobic because my health matters, then that's what I'm gonna do. And that's all that I have regarding this video, you guys. I would love your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you comment them down below. And if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload, and I'll catch you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,